Are we not obsessed with this background and like a little cozy sweater fall vibes? I'm so here for it. Hi guys, so today I'm back with another video for you. This video is a little different, but I wanted to do a video on how to get back on track when you fell off. This could be any goal that you have or just even your daily routine. If you fell off eating healthy, if you stopped going to the gym, if you started making excuses, maybe you went on vacation and got off track and then came back and it was just like so hard for you to get back into it. So I wanted to make a video with five easy steps on how to get back on track once we have fallen off, no matter what the reasoning is. So if you wanna see this video, then please keep watching. I know for me, when I get off track, it sometimes takes me months to get back to what I was doing and back to like, the level that I was operating at. You know, anything could throw me off. I don't know if you guys are the same, but the smallest thing like traveling or having to go to an event or someone's birthday or family coming into town, the smallest thing can throw me off. Whether it's you went on vacation or you got sick, or you went to someone's birthday, you had to travel for something, you had to travel for work, whatever the case may be. Maybe you just got into a bad routine, you had a bad day, and you just kind of fell off and stopped, you know, working towards your goals. You stopped being on your routine. I know for a lot of people, when you talk about falling off, it's always about health and fitness and weight loss. You know, they stopped eating healthy, they stopped going to the gym, or they just got in a bad habit of eating out. So we're gonna talk about these easy steps on how to get back on track and get a good routine going, no matter if it's health and weight loss or if it's just any other goals that you have in your life. We all wanna be productive, so it sucks when you kinda of get knocked out of your routine and then your momentum stops. Okay, step one. Do not feel guilty for falling off. This is very important because if we put so much guilt on ourselves and we're so upset and we're living in the past, that's gonna stop us from moving forward. No one is perfect, life happens, Life is hard, there's a lot of stuff always going on. So for whatever reason, if you fell off, whatever you were doing, you stopped doing your routine, you stopped progressing towards your goals, it is okay, it happens to everybody, no one is perfect, life happens. For me, current day, this is the best time for me to film this video because number one, I got off my healthy diet for two whole weeks and I got off my gym routine. I had two weeks in between my fitness challenge I normally do. The first week I worked out four days, the second week I think I worked out one day. So not only was my workout stopping, my healthy eating was kinda out the window and I was eating out a lot. So this made me pretty much gain back all the weight that I had lost during the previous six weeks except for two pounds. So I was a little upset. Then right after that, my new fitness challenge started. The second day in, I get sick. And then two days after that, we had to travel to Utah for a wedding. So everything was out of stop for me. I stopped the gym, I stopped eating healthy, I was sick, and I went on vacation. So all variables that could possibly throw you off, they happened to me. So I feel like this is the best time for me to film this because I'm getting back on track. I'm doing things exactly how I'm telling you guys in this video. So what you wanna do is just reset your mind. Take a break. Let all the previous stuff go. Let all the things that you didn't do go. Just enjoy your time, enjoy the day. If this is like a diet that you wanna get back on and say it's like a Saturday or a Sunday and you're gonna start Monday, enjoy your weekend. Don't be concerned with it. Prep for your week coming up, but enjoy your time. Enjoy your last couple of meals until you go back to your healthy eating. Pretty much just enjoy your time before you get back on the grind and back to what you wanna do. I know for me, I've always been like this, but anything that I'm starting new, any new routine, any new diet, workout plan, I have to start on a Monday. And if I don't start my week right on Mondays, the rest of my week is just terrible. I don't stick to my plan as much. I'm like wishy-washy. So like you have to come in strong with your Mondays if you're like that, because it's gonna set the tone for the rest of your week. It's just like that for every morning. Your mornings have to be strong. Whatever you do in the morning is gonna carry on through the day with you. So you really have to start off strong and keep yourself motivated. Don't make excuses for what happened or why you didn't do this or who affected you, who did this, who did that. Just accept it and move forward. So step two is obviously make a plan. You will fail without a plan. Be as detailed as possible for all the goals you wanna achieve and all the things you wanna do. 
You want to create a daily routine, a nightly routine, map everything out for yourself. Make sure you plan your week ahead of time. Look at it as a whole and then plan daily from there. Make sure that everything you want to do is included. Planning is the most important part of all these steps because we really need to know what to do moving forward in order to change things and get back to wherever we were before. Step three, this is currently what I'm doing this week. Start with one thing. If you went from doing all these great productive things, let's use obviously health and weight loss as an example. Let's say you were working out, you were eating healthy, you were being productive, you were reading books, you were doing this, you were doing that, whatever your goals may be. Say you're at a high level, then you wanna get back to that, but you're now doing none of those things that you were doing before, then you really need to start with one thing at a time. I discussed this in another video. This video kind of has to do with the video I just did on changing your life in the last three months of the year. Make sure you check that video out as well if this is something that you're dealing with and struggling with. But I mentioned this, it's a Tony Robbins technique. And basically what you wanna do is start with something small. Start with a small goal, start with one thing at a time. And then from there you can build your momentum. So once you've done the one thing and you kept that commitment to yourself, you can move on to adding in more things and bigger goals and so on. So what you wanna do is start with one habit or one thing that you wanna implement into your daily life. Don't try to do it all at once from doing nothing. Start with one thing a day and once you've done this for like let's say three days, five days, seven days and you're consistent with it and you know that you're not gonna slack off, then add in your next habit. So for example, say your goal is health and fitness, wellness, weight loss, all of that. So you wanna start eating healthy and you wanna go back to the gym. What I would do is make sure you eat healthy for three days, maybe go on a walk if anything. Then once you're eating healthy and you're in the rhythm of that because that's the most important, then start adding in the gym. Then from there, you're eating healthy and you're working out. It's gonna take a little time to get everything back on track how it was. Don't overwhelm yourself, don't overdo it because if you overdo it and you try to add in too many things at once, you're gonna get tired, you're gonna feel frustrated and you're just gonna give up and go back to what you're doing. I have done this nine million times in my life and I'm not over exaggerating that number. Like I feel like I've been on a hamster wheel with the same thing of trying to change my habits and going like all or nothing and then you know, I kind of just go back to what I was doing because the daily habits weren't in place and I wasn't making it my life. I wasn't making the change permanently. I was just trying to do everything all at once. So you want to be sure that you don't overdo it and you take things one thing at a time. My next step, it's my favorite phrase. How you do one thing is how you do everything. Someone told me this maybe in like 2014, like five years ago. I remember I was at the studio and there was a parking lot on the side and I parked my car diagonal and took up two parking spaces and my car was halfway over the line and I was in the studio and I was telling them something came up about the parking lot and I was telling them where I parked and how I parked and this guy told me how you do one thing it's how you do everything and I had never heard that phrase before and I just sat there like you're literally right if you have asked your parking if you're sloppy with your parking if you don't you know give a about anyone else parking next to you, that pretty much carries over to a different part of your life. I know for me, now that I know that phrase, it is very, 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 very true. It is true for everybody. So even if your goals are not health and fitness related, you wanna make sure that your entire life is in alignment with what you want. You wanna make sure that everything you're doing matches up to the goals that you have. Because like I said, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So if you approach your goals a certain way and you're not all in and your entire life doesn't align, then you're gonna be faking it. You're not gonna achieve your goal and you're gonna give up. The structure of your life is very important. Your daily habits are very important. So if your goal is something, I can't think of one because my goals are always about health and fitness and you know career related, but if you set a goal for yourself, just make sure that the structure of your life matches up with your goals. So for my last step, step five, you wanna switch up your routine. 
You can't be doing the same things as you were before or in the same manner because it's not gonna feel new and exciting and you're not gonna be motivated to keep with your goals. Everything has to be new and interesting, approach things differently, have a different mindset going in, set new habits. If you need a new workout, if you need a new workout outfit, if you wanna join a different gym, if you wanna switch up what you're doing, if you're eating a certain way, switch it up, try new brands of food, try a meal prep company, go on Pinterest, look for new ideas. You just want everything to be new. That newness creates that excitement and that excitement is the motivation that you need to keep moving forward and push you through every day when you don't have that self-discipline to do what you're supposed to do. Changing your thoughts and how you talk to yourself will change your life. Changing your way of thinking is everything. So. Something that I learned is like, instead of being mad and saying like, oh, I have so much to do today, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to go do my workout, I have to eat healthy, like, you have to say, I'm so lucky I get to go to the gym and I get to work out. I'm so blessed that I'm healthy enough to go to the gym. Like, I'm so excited that I get to eat this new meal prep or like, you know, I'm so excited that I get to go to Prest and get a green juice today. Whatever it is, you have to change the way you think about it. Because if you look at this stuff as a chore, if you look at your goals as like, I'm never gonna accomplish them, this is so hard, I'm never gonna get there, you can't do that. You're not gonna accomplish anything. And part of this is breaking down your goals and making them attainable and tricking your mind into knowing that it's possible. I go really in depth in this in my video that I spoke about in changing your life the last three months of the year. These videos kind of, you know, work together. So make sure that you check it out if you really want to change your way of thinking and break down these goals so that all this is attainable for you. So that is all. Those are my five steps. I really hope that this video helped you guys. I hope that you can get some inspiration and some ideas from it. If you fell off whatever goals you have, please do not feel bad because I struggle with this all the time. I'm like so easily triggered by the smallest things and I fall off and it takes me three months to get back on sometimes. So let's not feel guilty. Let's not feel bad. Let's just go out there and kill our goals. We got three months left till the end of the year. Go watch my three month video. I'm really, really, really into this and setting goals for yourself and hitting them. We can make so much change in a small amount of time. So let's make sure that we're getting on track and living a really happy and a healthy life. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought and let me know if you guys have any tips on how you get back on track when you fell off. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.